Well, hello, welcome to Izzy Stero. Thank you for coming to my channel. You could have gone anywhere, but you came to my channel. For that, I'm extremely grateful. Thank you so much. I want to do a Virgo love prediction reading for April 24th through April 30th. Please keep in mind, this is a general read. If it's not your story, it's not your story. Don't try to make it your story. Just take what you can from it and leave the rest. In addition, please know this energy can go either way. It can be your energy your significant other's energy, or someone else that's in your love space. Please keep that in mind as you watch and as you listen. If you enjoy my reading or if my reading resonates with you, please give me a subscription or a like. I'd be most humbled. I'm always honored and very grateful if you decide to give me a subscription or a like. Thank you in advance if you do. Let's see what's going on with my loyal, loving, kind sweet virgos show me spirit guides what's going on with my virgos show me spirit guides what's going on with virgos show me let's see virgos what you got going on knight of wands wheel of fortune page of cups Temperance card. And the Justice card. So I have the Knight of Wands that's leading your reading. You know, I call my Knight of Wands my fire pony. I call it a fire pony because Knight of Wands is in and out. Knight of Wands is ducking and dodging and doing whatever they do. Um, creeping and, you know, I'm just saying, creeping and peeping. They do what they do. Knight of Wands is a person, an energy of someone in your love space. Someone in your love space, what they do is they, they creep and they, 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 <laughs> when I say creep, they, um, they aren't, they just don't settle down. They just don't settle down. They like, they're very passionate, very good, um, as far as the intimacy is concerned. Very passionate, shows you a lot of passion. However, that passion fizzles out until the next one comes. And that's what they are. You might be one of many that they have. This Knight of Wands is someone that is can ghost you, can love on you, and then ghost you the next week. This Knight of Wands is someone that cannot be trusted, at least for me. I don't feel like they can be trusted because they are in and out of, of everyone's life, not just yours. But I see something that's happening here. This Knight of Wands you have been in love with for quite some time. The Knight of Wands you have loved on for quite some time. And here's the deal, though. I see this Wheel of Fortune here. Uh, I see the Wheel of Fortune. The Wheel of Fortune means that things are moving in your favor, though. When it comes to, I, I don't know if it's this person, but whoever this Knight of Wands is behind this Knight of Wands card, I see the Wheel of Fortune. And the Wheel of Fortune is things are moving in your favor. Things are moving in your favor. In other words, whatever, you love them. You were in love with them. You have been in love with them. But like I said, they have been on and off. But I see things moving in your favor. And I also see this cup of love being offered with this page of cups. Now, I'm going to tell you, Virgo, I do see this person might have been someone that was younger than you, maybe a little bit immature. But I think they're making a turn. Look at this turn that they're making because the page of cups is in the middle of your reading. And that page of cups is an offering of love. It's like a newbie that you they want to give you their love now. Something has changed this relationship. Um, something has changed this relationship. And I'm going to tell you, I think they just fallen in love with you. I do. I, I think that it caught them unexpectedly. I think you've loved them for a long time, but I think that they have fallen in love with you. That's why the will, the will is moving in your favor now. The will is moving in your favor because this person has fallen in love. In addition... I know this person is falling in love with you. They miss your closeness, your intimacy. They And, and I don't say miss it. I'm not saying you guys are broken up, but what they want from you. Uh, because, you know, Virgo, I'm not quite sure if you were still playing with them like you used to play with them. I think you gave them, um, a, and I'm going to be very honest, maybe perhaps an ultimatum. Either they settle down or you're gone. But I don't think they wanted to lose you. I don't because I see this temperance card here. Temperance is about intimacy. It's about not when I say intimacy, I'm not talking about intimacy as far as um and and I'm talking about intimacy with 
uh, love, with um, having someone to go talk to, with um, not just a sexual intimacy. I'm not looking at that for that. But they miss everything about you. Let's say that. They miss everything about you. And they want to be with you. And they can't. I don't think this person can stand being without you. Now, I'm going to be very honest here. I think that this, this well, the justice card is there for one thing. It's, a, it's about balance. There was not a balance with this relationship. In fact, when I see the justice card, I think that you're getting back. You're getting goodness back to you when someone, the way they treated you. And I think that you, whatever they did to you is coming back um, to them. And when I say to them, they're getting it back. You're getting your goodness back. Um, it's like what you reap, so you sow, what you sow, so you reap. That's what's happening with you. You are getting back the good things that you gave to them because you are, because I see this justice card here and the justice card, like I said, means whatever you sow, you'll reap. So I see with this justice card, they're getting this back. And when I say getting it back, it's because they don't want to lose you. And I think that you're getting back the goodness. You're getting the love from them that they weren't willing to give you before. And it's deeper this time. And it's real. I see that. I definitely see that. So let's see. What you sow, you reap. You know? That is how it is. And I'm sorry. I hope I get that right. I keep pausing because I'm not sure it's what you reap, you sow. No, but it's what you sow. What you give, you get back. Let's just say that. What you give, you get back. And what is happening now is that you're getting the goodness that you gave back to them. Because they have truly fallen in love with you. Let's see if this is your read. Please give me three to five minutes and let me clarify the reading for you. I want to see exactly what additional information the spirit guys want us to know. What additional information do the spirit guys want us to know about this person and this relationship that you have with this person? I'm going to um, clarify the cards. Show me spirit guides. Knight of Wands. Why is the Knight of Wands here? Show me spirit guides. Oh, I have the Hierophant. Oh. Yes, yes, yes. Along with this justice card, this hierophant over this knight of wands, they want to marry. They're they're ready to settle down. They have fallen in love with you. They're ready to settle down. You have uh, brought a bad boy in, and I'll be very honest with you. You have brought a bad boy in. You've turned a, a bad boy into a, a um, someone that wants to be with you. They don't want to be out there anymore. They want to be. In, they uh. They want to be with you. The hierophant can also represent a Taurus sun sign. Can be anyone, but the hyphen does also represent the Taurus sun sign. Now, let's see why the Wheel of Fortune is here. Show me spirit guides. Oh, I have the moon. Now, that moon card is, is, is about illusions, betrayals. So, the Knight of Wands with this hyphen is you that wanted to be married to them. Now, what, what has happened here is the will is moving in your favor because... Um, what is happening, you have had, you had illusions. You were, they were deceptive to you. But the will of fortune is, is moving in your favor. Now, that moon card can be a Pisces person as well. Um, it is, a rep, the moon represents a Pisces sun sign. But please keep in mind that moon card there, which can mean betrayal, illusions, um, deception. Well, that's kind of going out the door because this person has fallen in love with you. They may have treated you like that before, but that's different now because this will of fortune, things are moving in your favor now. It is no longer about them. It is no longer about them and how they treat you and how they've been gone, how they ghost you. You've always wanted to marry this person and they weren't ready. But guess what? They've fallen in love with you now. They, fought, they are ready now. Let's see why the Page of Cups is here. Show me spirit, guys. Why is the Page of Cups here? Oh, I have the Four of Swords. Yeah. Remember, I, I said to you, there's a breakup that's here. There's Four of Swords. You gave this person an ultimatum, and they... They turned around and figured out, I can't be without this person. They knew. Even though they had other people, you were their main one. And I, and that's not something so much to be proud of. But in a way it is because they fell in love with you. They don't want anyone else but you now. This page of cups is offering you this love. And I say to you, this person may be a little bit younger than you. Uh, Might have had a little bit more immature thoughts and thought they could still have their cake and eat it too and you were like no i can't you can't do that with me and guess what you basically gave them an ultimatum four swords you basically said this is a breakup then but let's see why this temperance card is here show me spirit guys oh 
oh, Prince of Swords, oh, they're coming at you. When I say they're coming at you, they're letting you know. They're communicating with you, letting you know, I miss you. I want to be with you. Um, no matter what, um, this page of source is all about communication. It's about bringing in communication. It's about them missing you and letting you know, there is no doubt that they miss you. You don't want, they are letting you know that they miss you. They miss the intimacy. They miss talking to you. They, they, they don't, they can't, they, they know that they can't be without you. They under, they understand that now they've fallen in love with you. And they have to be with you. You know, it's like one of those things they know they have to be with you. So let's see why this justice card is here. Show me spirit, guys. Knight of Swords. What courage, right? <laughs> they don't care. Look, I. you know, this is crucial to them. They've got to be with you. And they're letting you know they got to be with you. That is one thing that you love about them. The way they show how they love you. The way they have shown you how they love you. Um, they've always been passionate, but here this Knight of Swords has been very courageous over this Justice card. And justice can mean, like I said, also it can mean um, being married, a legal contract, a marriage contract. I think that they are thinking now that they want to be married to you. And they are courageous about making sure they don't lose you, they miss you, and they want you back. Let's look at this. Knight of Wands, this is somebody on and off, uh, in and out of your life, you know. You love them, yes, but guess what? They had others. Very passionate love. You wanted to be married to them with that Hierophant. Remember, Hierophant can't represent Taurus. Sun sign can't be anyone. Will of Fortune is here, though. Things are moving in your favor. Because you have the Moon card here, which can also represent a Pisces. But that Moon card is saying that um, there were illusions, deception, betrayal when it came to this person. Even though you loved them, um, there, were, there were things, there were illusions. But guess what? The Will of Fortune means things are moving in your favor. It's no longer... They have fallen in love with you with this page of cups. This is an offering of love. They have realized because you gave them an ultimatum. You said, no, four swords is here. We're, we're not going to do this anymore. Your heart kept getting more and more invested. We're not going to have intimacy. We're not going to, there's no, it's, it's done. Because you're not ready to settle down because it's Knight of Wands here. But here's this temperance card, which can represent Sagittarius. Sun sign, please keep that in mind. Can be anyone. You have a lot of major arcanas on the board. Taurus, um, the Hierophant here, the Moon. Here you have the temperance and justice. And what it is is the Prince of Swords is there communicating, saying they miss you. They can't be without you. They've got to be with you. You know, I've got to have you. That's kind of what they're coming to you and telling you. Knight of Swords is being very courageous. Justice card means you're getting back um, whatever they whatever um, you put out, you get back. And they're getting back what they put out to you. And you're just kind of enjoying that too. But also, this justice card means balance and they want to marry you. They want to marry you. Let's see what my um, oracles have to say. Show me, spirit guides. What do my oracles have to say? Oh, you're ready. They're telling this, you're ready. They're ready. You're ready. This is about to move to the next level. They're in love with you too. That's what I have for you, Virgo, for your love prediction reading.